Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. This commentary is entitled The Collapse of the Secret Service. We can easily imagine that missing Secret Service text messages from January 5th and 6th will show that Trump had gone off the rails and that his Secret Service exchanged some very regrettable and embarrassing, if not criminal messages, about what Trump was doing and how they were standing by him, sympathetic with him or even affirmatively helping him in the insurrection. It sure looks like Trump's Secret Service detail was compromised. That's the way he operates, demanding absolute personal loyalty, rewarding those who give it to him and punishing those who don't. It's straight out of The Godfather. And that's exactly what happened here. The Secret Service was loyal to Trump over country. Worse yet, now 18 months later, they are still trying to protect him, even at the expense of the country. Unforgivable. We can't believe a word of their visibly lame cover-up. It was stupid of them to be compromised, to delete the texts and now to try to cover it up. They have fallen from grace. Director James Murray, a Trump appointee, is absolutely responsible. He should be tried and punished for what he has done. So should the other members of the service who were involved. They have failed in their sworn and sacred duty to the country. Shame on them. We used to think highly of the Secret Service. Because they are law enforcement officers. Because they are secret. Because they protect the President of the United States. But all that has changed. Take a look at Carol Leonid's book, Zero Fail, The Rise and Fall of the Secret Service, where the decline of the service is well documented. We must address this decline, and soon. The service needs serious reform. We can no longer trust them to protect the president or the democracy. Their loyalty was misguided on January 6, and it is today. It stinks to high heaven. Biden should have summarily terminated James Murray. Why hasn't he? In fact, the service should be reorganized from the ground up, and new agents should be recruited and given appropriate training on loyalty issues. The Secret Service is a part of Homeland Security, which Trump also corrupted. The current scandal suggests other continuing loyalty compromises in that department. Louis DeJoy and the Postal Service look bad, Merrick Garland and DOJ don't look so good, and now James Murray looks terrible. How many other weak links are nested in Biden's administration? Surely, he can find other more qualified nonpartisan people to replace them, but he hasn't done so. He's still the great facilitator, trying at all costs to make and keep friends, even if they are not worthy of his friendship. Sorry, but that doesn't work in the shadow of Trump, and it doesn't work when we are in a five-alarm fire burning up our democracy. We need strong leadership, we need someone to affirmatively defuse all the time bombs Trump created and is now creating for us. We don't need a great facilitator or an affable observer. How many more scandals like this will we have in Joe Biden's administration? Given the fact that Trump and his co-conspirators are still around, and still actively conspiring, we should not be optimistic about Biden's Mr. Nice Guy presidency or the prospects for our future. God save us all if Trump is elected in 2024, but if he is, it will frankly be due at least in substantial part to Biden's failure to root them out. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. Aloha.